Williams with Ion LP speaking with Miss Becky Halstead. Hello, Becky. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you today? Doing well. Thank you so much for speaking with me. First question, what is leadership? Well, there are as many definitions as there are people. <laughs> right. But that makes it nice, right? Because I always say that the definition of leadership is whatever you make it. So, so I guess what I would say is that, you know, leadership is really the ability to influence someone else to believe in something and then accomplish that. And um, I have a longer definition of it, but, uh, and, then, and I think that as a leader, leadership is a fusion of heart and mind. And what makes a great leader? Well, the ability to be led, you know, because you have to be a follower as well as a leader. You know, you have to be able to be disciplined, follow the rules, be the example uh, and the standard for other people. So, you know, it's, um, but I think to become a great leader, really depends on those that you lead. They're the ones that decide whether you're a great leader or not. I don't decide if I'm a great leader, right? I, I not, I'm not gonna tell you I'm a great one. <laughs> I'm hoping that somebody else says that because of what they see in my example and how I, how I lead them. Great, and then who would you say needs to be a leader? Well, I say everybody needs to be a leader because the first person you must lead is you. So, you know, I, I hear all the time from, uh, especially uh, folks who maybe they don't have a professional job, they say, oh, well, you know, I'm a, I'm a mom or I'm a stay-at-home dad or I'm just a, first of all, don't ever say just a anything because everybody has a role and responsibility. But one of the responsibilities is to lead yourself. So in that regard, I would just say that everybody needs to be a leader and it starts with you. So with everybody needing to be a leader, everyone also just needs to be led, like you said, being both a leader and a follower. Yes, because, you know, sometimes um, the higher you go as a leader, you think you no longer have to be led. And that's a dangerous leader. That's a dangerous leader. Um, and I, I can candidly tell you that I've been led by people subordinate to me, junior to me, because sometimes they see something um, and they bring it to me and I, and I was blind to it. And so I call that leading up. So I think sometimes you can be led by those who are actually... Uh, that maybe you outrank or that you're more uh, superior to in terms of a position of responsibility. Very good. So with being an effective leader, you have to be a continuous learner, would you say? Oh, absolutely. Lifelong learning. Improve your foxhole every day. Um, you know, it, at the end of the day, if I can't say that I'm a better person because of the people that were in it today, then I wasn't paying attention. And then hopefully the reverse is true, that other people will say, well, their, their life is better because I was in it. So yeah, absolutely. Every single day we have the ability to be better. Thank you for your time, and more importantly, thank you for your service. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it so much. Kimberly Gibbs, Ion LP.